Wolverine's claws returned to their natural form during the 1994 Fatal Attraction storyline when Magneto forcibly removed his adamantium skeleton. Before this event, it was widely assumed that Wolverine's claws were metallic enhancements implanted by the Weapon X program, bonded directly to his bones. Once the adamantium was gone, it became clear that Wolverine had always possessed bone claws, sharp, pointed, and lethal, without any metal. This change pushed Wolverine into a more savage, animalistic state. Bone claws lacked the precision of metal, but inflicted brutal, deadly damage, making his combat style more unpredictable. The loss of his indestructible skeleton also increased his vulnerability, showing that even a hero with an accelerated healing factor could be wounded and challenged. These limitations added depth to Wolverine's character, highlighting his mortality and making his struggles feel more immediate and intense. This era produced some of Wolverine's most memorable clashes, particularly the three fierce battles with Sabretooth, where his bone claws turned every encounter into a raw and unpredictable fight. Ultimately, Wolverine's bone claws symbolize his primal nature, emphasizing that even the strongest heroes can face danger and be pushed to their limits. Wolverine's adamantium claws are more than mere weapons. They embody his relentless strength and feral intensity. Each hand has three retractable blades, razor sharp and lethal, allowing him to engage foes up close with devastating efficiency. Beyond their cutting power, the claws reflect Wolverine's core nature, fierce, unstoppable, and deadly. With them, he can deliver precise, fatal strikes, leaving behind a trail that signals his unyielding rage. The sheer number of opponents he has defeated highlights his reputation as one of the most fearsome figures in comic history. In the Ultimate X-Men universe, Wolverine's rivalry with Sabretooth escalates into extreme chaos. Ultimate Sabretooth is portrayed as even more unhinged, driven to prove his superiority over Wolverine at any cost. To match Wolverine's power, this version of Sabretooth possesses four claws per hand instead of three, making him an even more relentless and dangerous adversary. His single-minded pursuit of Wolverine and anyone standing in his way creates battles with deadly stakes. Within the main Marvel Universe, initially described as virtually indestructible, the metal has occasionally been damaged or altered into secondary adamantium, a weaker form used to explain these rare occurrences. When bonded to Wolverine's skeleton, the process does not impede his natural bone function. Instead, the metal integrates with his living tissue, allowing his skeleton to operate normally. This combination of regenerative ability and unbreakable claws makes Wolverine the unstoppable force he is known to be. In the MC2 universe, Wild Thing, the daughter of Wolverine, wields psionic claws that define her dangerous legacy. Unlike Wolverine's adamantium blades, her claws carry a psychic element similar to the mental abilities of Jean Grey. Initially, these claws appear as mental projections, able to slice through minds rather than flesh, inflicting intense psychic pain on her opponents. Wild Thing is also a skilled fighter, trained in multiple martial arts inherited from both parents, making her a formidable hand-to-hand -hand combatant. With focus, she can solidify her psionic claws into physical blades capable of cutting through most materials. This duality allows her to strike in the physical world while simultaneously manipulating enemies mentally, disrupting, controlling, or blocking their movements. Her claws blend raw physical power with psychic energy, reflecting both her inherited ferocity from Wolverine and her mental prowess. The combination of primal instinct and psionic precision makes Wild Thing a highly dangerous adversary, capable of confronting any threat. Her claws symbolize her journey to embrace both her violent heritage and her extraordinary psychic potential, creating a lethal fusion of instincts and mental ability. After Wolverine was revived by a mutant named his healing factor surged beyond previous limits, unlocking a new ability, Hot Claws. These claws, once standard adamantium blades, now radiated intense white heat, capable of slicing through nearly anything with precision. A single strike could be lethal. Unlike later Fire Claws, Hot Claws were sharper and more controlled, allowing Wolverine to use them without entering a rage. The extraordinary heat came from his supercharged healing factor, which generated excess energy that manifested in his claws, incinerating whatever they touched. Initially, this power appeared during his berserker rages, fueled by emotional turmoil turmoil, but Wolverine eventually learned to wield it deliberately, turning it into a precise weapon. Each use, however, drained his healing factor, leaving him increasingly vulnerable with every swing. In the return of Wolverine miniseries, it was revealed that had amplified his dormant healing ability, causing the claws heat. While powerful, using them slowed his regeneration and exposed him to harm. Hot claws embodied a darker side of Wolverine, combining deathly precision, rage, and the risk of losing control. Though the extreme heat might eventually fade, this power left a lasting legacy of a Wolverine who could be both unstoppable and dangerously exposed.
In the alternate reality of Warp World created by the Infinity Stones, Wolverine and Emma Frost merged into a single being called Diamond Patch. This fusion granted Wolverine claws unlike any he had wielded before. Crafted from diamond, they were sharper, stronger, and capable of cutting through virtually anything. Beyond their physical lethality, these claws carried a psychic function. Whenever Diamond Patch wounded an opponent, he could access their thoughts and secrets instantly. Enhanced by Emma Frost's telepathic powers, Diamond Patch became a formidable force during the Infinity War storyline. His claws allowed him not only to deal devastating physical damage, but also to gain mental insight, revealing intentions or detecting deception in his targets. This combination of combat skill and psychic ability made him an exceptionally dangerous opponent. Diamond Patch's encounter with Loki highlighted the claws' unique potential. When Loki appeared at the X-Mansion seeking assistance, Diamond Patch struck him, instantly reading Loki's mind and intentions. This demonstrated how the Diamond Claws acted as both a weapon and a conduit for telepathy. By merging Wolverine's ferocity with Emma Frost's psychic strength, Diamond Patch became one of the most powerful iterations of Wolverine, blending unmatched physical force with keen mental awareness. In the Amalgam Comics universe, a hero named Dark Claw emerged from the fusion of Batman and Wolverine, combining Wolverine's raw strength with Batman's intellect and detective skills. This fusion produced a unique set of adamantium claws. These claws retained Wolverine's signature durability but gained enhanced power and precision from the fusion, allowing Dark Claw to slice, pierce, and destroy nearly any material effortlessly. Dark Claw's healing factor, inherited from Wolverine, enabled rapid recovery from injuries, immunity to most toxins and diseases, and the regeneration generation of entire organs. This ability allowed him to push his body beyond normal human limits, granting exceptional strength, agility, and endurance. His senses, sight, hearing, and smell operated at peak human potential, making him an expert tracker and capable of detecting threats from long distances. Intellectually, Dark Claw combined tactical genius, scientific expertise, and criminology knowledge, allowing him to outthink and outmaneuver opponents. Trained extensively in martial arts and escape techniques, he excelled in combat and stealth. Equipped with gadgets like his utility belt, claw ring, and the Clawcopter, Dark Claw became a nearly unstoppable hero, blending brute force, sharp instincts, and advanced strategy in every encounter. When Wolverine becomes an avatar of the Phoenix Force, he evolves far beyond his usual berserker state. The Phoenix Force, a cosmic entity of immense power, merges with Wolverine's already exceptional abilities, creating a version of him nearly impossible to defeat. While his adamantium claws remain lethal, they are overshadowed by the sheer cosmic energy flowing through his body. A twist of fate shifts the Phoenix from Jean Grey to Wolverine. His accelerated healing allows him to survive a critical mission, but the Phoenix Force quickly takes hold, fueled by anger from his Weapon X past. The entity amplifies Wolverine's emotions, transforming his berserker rage into catastrophic force. The Phoenix enhances his healing, strength, and allows manipulation of space and time, giving him control over reality itself. Although his claws are still sharp enough to cut through anything, they pale in comparison to the cosmic might he wields. This version of Wolverine becomes a threat not not only to enemies, but also to allies, as he struggles to maintain control over the Phoenix's overwhelming power. Even close companions must intervene to prevent the entity from consuming him entirely. The Phoenix Claws retain their cutting ability, but the force behind them grants Wolverine the potential to destroy entire worlds. During the Fear Itself event, Wolverine's abilities reached divine heights when Odin bestowed a rare blessing upon him. This gift transformed Wolverine into one of his most formidable versions, encasing him in guardian armor and infusing his body with the Odin Force. His claws glowed with divine energy, allowing him to strike with godlike power. The blessing transformed his adamantium skeleton into a weapon of unmatched lethality, effectively turning Wolverine into a one-person army. His Odin-enhanced claws could slice through even the magically empowered Juggernaut, demonstrating strength beyond mortal limits. The the armor he wore was crafted from the same enchanted metal as Thor's hammer, amplifying his durability and combat effectiveness. This divine power allowed Wolverine to perform feats previously impossible, combining his natural ferocity with godlike energy. However, like all gifts of the gods, it was temporary. Once the battle ended, Odin withdrew the blessing, returning Wolverine to his normal state. Even in this brief period, the Odin-blessed claws revealed just how unstoppable and devastating Wolverine could be when infused with a fraction of divine power. Wolverine's abilities reached a new extreme when he bonded with the Venom symbiote. But the more dangerous fusion happened later when a Venom clone was forcibly attached to him. This bond subjected Wolverine to the symbiote's will, triggering a monstrous transformation. With Venom integrated, Wolverine grew in size and strength, his claws extending to lengths comparable to a full-grown person, and his fists becoming massive weapons. He also gained the symbiote's typical enhancements, wall clinging, heightened agility, and superhuman speed and strength. Despite these powers, the symbiote's vulnerability to sonic attacks remained, leaving him exposed in certain situations. After a chaotic struggle, 
struggle, Wolverine was freed from the initial bond, though the potential for future symbiotic fusions lingered. When merged with the symbiote, his claws became even deadlier. Wispy tendrils of symbiote material could extend from them, increasing flexibility and lethality, and in some instances, the poison symbiote fully coated his claws, amplifying their destructive power. This combination of Wolverine's adamantium skeleton and the symbiote's abilities created a nearly unstoppable weapon, making this feral symbiotic version one of his most feared incarnations. Wolverine's fire claws emerged from a bond with a spirit of vengeance, revealing a terrifying new side of him. This began when Mephesto, ruler of Hell, released a demon named Blay to disrupt the mortal world. While the demon initially inhabited a young boy, it eventually found its true host in Wolverine. The bond transformed him into Helverine, a fusion of primal rage and hellfire, with adamantium claws ignited in ethereal flames. Each strike carried not just physical devastation, but the burning wrath of Hell itself, capable of harming both the living and the dead. Helverine was more than a destructive force. He became a harbinger of vengeance, wielding powers that rivaled the strongest spirits of retribution. Despite the spirit's influence, Wolverine retained control, demonstrating his inner strength and humanity. When the spirit attempted to leave and possess another soul, Wolverine's willpower reclaimed it, showing that even under the fire and fury, his essence remained intact. His power peaked when he reunited with his son, Akihiro, passing the spirit of vengeance to him. This act marked the end of Wolverine's fiery chapter, emphasizing that even with near-limitless hellfire coursing through him, he could choose his own path. The Fire Claws remain one of the most fearsome iterations of Wolverine, combining raw, destructive power with control, redemption, and the enduring struggle between his human and primal sides.